hello everyone and uh, welcome to another after effects tutorial this time we'll be making a heart rate monitor using after effects so let's get started okay i will start by clicking on the pen tool and then i will draw my heart rate one click here and uh, you can uh, hit the shift key on the keyboard to make it a line uh, straight line and then i will make one like this and one point one more here maybe one in here and uh, again i will click here and let's do our line we can edit them later no problem now i will click on the selection tool and i will adjust this point okay i will adjust also this point okay cool so now we'll open this shape layer and we will add a round corner and uh, what the round corner does he will make this uh, corner round so we have the radius of 10 and we can make it like this if you want to make them sharp you can just go to the stroke and change the line cap to round cap and the line join to round join okay if you want to make them more round in the corner we can go now to the round corner one and adjust the radius okay so we can remove the toggle mask and to see it better now let's let's uh, animate this i will leave it to something like 50. now we will add a trim path and then i will open my trim path and uh, i will put the uh, timeline in the beginning and then i will click on the stopwatch next to the end to make a keyframe and then i will move it here and here i will change this value to zero now if we run preview this animation it will be like this okay so you can make it faster of course by uh, changing the position of this keyframe and it will be faster we need to make an extra animation to this we click on the star to set a keyframe okay and then let's go something like here and we will add, add it we will change it to 100 now we need to move the keyframes select the both keyframes in the end and uh, move them to something like this and now we will have this one so if you want them to appear to fully appear like this you need to move the keyframe here under this uh, keyframe okay so this is our animation until now so now we will add our text here like uh, bpm okay i'm using the contracts uh, font you can download it uh, for free from uh, dafonts.com and i will uh, put it here and then let's change this uh, color to something green for example we will add some numbers here select the horizontal type tool and i will put just any number and we will add an expression to this number so to make it more dynamic and to do that we need to add a new adjustment layer and then right click effect and we will add an expression control slider control okay now i need to lock this uh, effect toggle view lock and then open the text layer the number open the text and under the source text with alt key pressed click on this source text and we will pick the slider okay so now it's zero if we change the slider it will change okay so now let's go to the beginning and then i will add a set to keyframe like zero and uh, click on the stopwatch here and then i will go here and i will add any number and then go here let's set it to something like this here 
like 167 and 3 okay so now if we run preview this one it will be like this and to correct this number we need to add an expression to our expression and we will add math dot round and between parentheses I will add a parentheses here open parentheses and we need to put this expression inside the parentheses okay so now if we run preview it will be working fine I need to add some uh, glow to this uh, line I will select the shape layer right click here effect stylize and then glow let's remove this one to see it better you can play with the glow threshold and the glow radius so we can set it like this so maybe it's better to reduce the size okay to something like this and then this is our result I will change the number color to white color okay and then maybe we will add some animation to the BPM text and for this I will hit in the keyboard I will go to the beginning of the timeline set a keyframe on the opacity set it to zero go one frame or three frame one two three with the page down and the keyboard and set it to 100 again page down one two frames I will set it to zero one two frame set it to 100 and uh, now this is what we have it's uh, blinking and uh, I will add an expression to the opacity with alt key pressed of course click on the stopwatch here to add an expression and we will click on this icon here and then we'll add property loop out type cycle num keyframe okay and then hit enter so now we will have it blinking in the full timeline of course we need to make this line uh, looping and then I will crop this uh, layer just drag from here and uh, make it to here and then with the layer selected hit ctrl D or command D in the Mac and then I will move it here and then ctrl D move it here ctrl D and now if we run preview it it will be like this okay so maybe we need to add more keyframes here again we can select all the keyframes Control C, Control V, and Control C, Control V, and we will have this kind of random numbers for the whole animation. So again, I want to hear from you guys. Please add your comments in the comment below, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Hit the bell so you don't miss anything.